Hello guys, what's going on? After a week break due to work, family life, I've got a new laptop. It's silky, it's smooth, everything is running sweet on it. So here is the finale, the very last episode of the Class of Night 2 series that I've been doing. Spent about six weeks simming and playing and I've now got to the 18th season. All the players are aged 34, pretty much finished in their career with a year or two at most left. They're on the decline, but let's get into it. Let's show you what has gone on in the last eight seasons since I played and since the last update. A lot of you have been waiting, so here is the eagerly anticipated finale of the series. So, Sergei Rebrov, the current manager of the Manchester United team, he has just won the Champions League with them and he's got a pretty good record. Of course, the former Tottenham and West Ham player. So, since I left, who took over? Well, from the start of the series, of course, we brought back Alex Ferguson and then Jurgen Klopp took over. Marcelino took over. he done quite well, but he left his role for me to take over. I was very poor, then retired. Stal Sol back in, sacked after a year and six days. One cup win. Two years almost. At the helm was Laurent Blanc. One cup win, almost, also sacked. Sergei Rebrov, five years in charge, three league wins and eight cups, including... The elusive Champions League. So, we're going to get straight onto the team and we will show you the players and how they have been getting on. So, first up, we'll go straight to the skipper, Gary Neville, the number 13 of Manchester United. Of course, used to seeing him in the number 2 along the series. Age 34, he's now rotational, so which tells me he is basically on his way to retirement. His technicals have took a massive decline, his mentals are great, his physicals are okay. 190 grand a week, still taking a hefty sum home. A veteran for England at 123 caps and valued at 1.8 million, with one year left on his contract. His brother, Phil Neville, on the transfer list, the number 5 at Manchester United, also a rotational player. He could have left on numerous occasions. But for some reason he kept on getting held on to. His value did rise as much as 20 million. 120k per week, 83 England cuts, which is very good. His technicals have been absolutely thrashed. Whether that being due to not playing that much compared to other players or just age. His mentals are fantastic, his physicals are nothing special. So David Beckham. Probably my favourite player out of the series. 300 grand a week, still taken home. 3.2 million value. A veteran of 102 caps and 12 goals for England. Wearing the number 12. His technicals, mentals and physicals are pretty much the same. He did win the Ballon d'Or and the Premier League Player of the Year on numerous occasions. Highest value was around 58 million. He was incredible to use in the season I did use as the wide playmaker. And he's been a real favourite. Stayed at Manchester United most of his career, just one season loan at Southampton, done him the world of good. Gary Neville did go on loan to Cardiff and Phil Neville did go on loan to Middlesbrough and Swansea. So we'll go Ryan Giggs, the only player out of all six members that did not play for another club. He was very loyal. He got nearly 500 games under his belt in these 18 seasons at Manchester United, 77 goals. And 35 man of the matches. So he's valued at 3.8 million, 75 goals, sorry, 75 apps and 25 goals for Wales, one in every three, 265 grand per week. All his stats are pretty fantastic and he looks like he's had a very cushy career. So the other guy, they have obviously left. Paul Scholes, sadly after I left, he retired at the tender age of around 30, I think it was. And he's no longer now in the game, which is sad. He was a bit part player wherever he went and he never quite hit the heights as stats suggested. So the other one, Nicky Butt, who we could not bring back because he was too expensive. Of course, left, went to Newcastle for a small fee, then a big money move to Man City. 55 caps for England, 2 goals, 180 grand per week. Of course, this far in, guys, 18 seasons, the money is silly. His stats are very good. And 
that is about it for Nikki, but really, to be honest. So guys, that is really it. There's not much else to say on this, really. It's been so much fun bringing you the series, doing the series, playing the series with these fantastic players. It's something unique, it's something I don't think anyone else has brought to the table or brought to YouTube and it really has given my YouTube channel lift off. And now with 214 subscribers and I think about 16,000 views on my videos in the three months I've been on YouTube being active in the FM community by myself on YouTube, this is the one that a lot of people have been watching and I'm really glad they have. I've actually been getting a lot of messages asking me to bring the this episode out so they can see the final, so they can see the end and see what happened because I have been away for a week. It's been great fun and I really appreciate all the subs on YouTube, all the people coming to our Facebook page, The Football Manager WizKids and all the people coming to our Twitter at the FM WizKids. It really is great and it's been a pleasure doing it and the feedback has been fantastic. When people are coming to me and asking me when I'm bringing it out, that makes me feel and know that people are enjoying it and I really, really appreciate it guys. So that is it guys. The series is over. Most of them stayed at Manchester United in the end, had a wealthy career and it has been so much fun doing this. I have got a massive experiment and series lined up for Football Manager 2016. It's going to be the very first thing I do on there, well once I get the editor up and running for that. I've just, it's going to be fantastic and it's based along the lines of what we've done here. But it's going to be something bigger, something better. It's something I'm sure will get a lot of downloads. Kind of like this database, guys. The database to play is Gary Neville, Nicky Butt, David Beckham, Phil Neville, Ryan Giggs and Paul Scholes. I, ha I did release the database about six, seven weeks ago. But I haven't really plugged it. I haven't really let people, unless they ask for it, I haven't really released it. So I am going to put it on YouTube, put it on the Twitter and Facebook tags with this final episode. So you can play as them guys. It's had about 600 downloads, I think, the last time I checked. So check that out guys. Play as them, and particularly for your Manchester United fan, that's the ones that will really enjoy it. So thank you guys. Thanks for coming on this little ride with me and stay tuned. I've got another video coming right after this one of my new save. And I hope you enjoy that. Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure. Take care, and I'll be back soon. Booyah.